Today is um, June 9th. It's Friday. It's about 2 o'clock in the morning. They were still driving by until a few minutes ago. Yesterday on the 8th, even after June 7th uh, in Walmart 62, June 7th, 2023, um, them going in there and mocking the FBI and Agent John. Okay. For falling for this. Said his name, said he was an FBI agent, mocked him, public. Laughed at him like jackasses. They still followed me. Now, we're going to come down to this. That agent swore his life over the Constitution. His life. That he have up a hold it for every U.S. citizen. This is how not funny this is. They make him look like a stupid retard. And the biggest doofus in the world. This is where none of this has made sense. I may not be the smartest person in the world, but I'm not the stupidest either. Because on June 7th, 2023, Walmart 62, between 9 in the morning and noon, I'm in there getting my hair done. I had to go to the bathroom. Okay. Well, because I got my hair dyed. Went and used the restroom. They're outside the restroom screaming a confession. What do you mean that FBI agent fell for the stunt of the tapes before? What do you mean John fell for him? It was just a stunt. As if that agent would ever fall for that. He actually fell for it? You're kidding. <laughs> Is that what's going on? He fell for their stunt. And it was just a stunt. So he did little with the cake. And that's how they got away with it. And it's been them hurting her the whole time. That's what's going on. Mocking. Mocking the FBI. And the agent for being a doofus. Okay. I go in and I finish getting my hair done. I go to leave. I seen the people associated and have a call. Mm hmm. Some guy walked out. He seen one of Katie's family, family members in there. Said, I caught her paying for the harassment today. Yeah. So, I would like to know. See, this has got to the point. I tried when I called. Okay. I called the hotline. That agent, do you know the only thing he should have known? And this is where it comes down to. This is the only thing he should have known. I called the hotline. Gave him Annie's number, the Perry Police's reports, that they were linked back to that church. The, uh, Fallen and branding, the temp break in, he knew where the security system was. He's the main subject of a temp break in. Okay, I gave the hotline that. Gave him Sarah from Zales, her old manager, older blonde lady, and a girl with brown hair and dark eyes had went to work with Katie at Ashcroft to know, okay, that they all three heard her say, that they, her church had a permanent plan to do away with me and they were going to have me killed. Okay? All right? 
right? And I tell that hotline about 80% of the stuff. Hmm? What should he have known when he called me back? Hotline report. Should have got a hold of Sarah. Those two co-workers at Katie. They should have got a hold of Perry Police reports. They should have got a hold of Annie at Advanced America for someone impersonating me and costing me a job. It was verified it wasn't me. So that's the very least. That's it. Right? That's right. That's all I should have known. So this has got to the point of they have basically made him a big doofus. And this is where... How could they even present this to him? Walk into a federal building. Hi, I'm a retired George P. from the Ravenna Courthouse. Hi, sir. I have been monitoring Karen on my own. You've been what? That's stalking. How are you monitoring? Kicked in her door to the wall? Shut up, button cameras. I've been taping her on aware. You've been stalking her in her house. We have sodium pentothal reports. You drug this woman? What does she know? She's got some bruises. She's throwing up. She's dizzy. Her heart's racing. She's been seen by the doctor all summer long. They don't even know. It's great. She's got a personal infection too. Raped her a couple times. She doesn't know because her amnesia drugs. Actually, they rape drugs. You're confessing? How could they present that to that agent? And he not arrest them. For kidnapping, assault with a deadly weapon, stalking, attempted murder. How could you present that to them and they not go to jail? Now, is stalking tapes admissible? No. Can they look at them? No. Why? Because they can Photoshop everything, like the shower scene. Like my friend. He said, I got a friend with an $800 laptop. He said he could Photoshop the shower scene easily. They already admitted they were drugging. Were they amnesia drugs like they did Eric? Walmart 62, November 18, 22. 2 to 6 p.m. by the hair salon. Came in and screamed out a confession. All the tapes before were me and not her. It was my idea to come up with it. My idea to do it. My idea to say it. For all these people turn on and they fell for it. Ah! Right? So when I call that agent back and I tell him, someone told on me the night before at that church, he called me a liar. Hmm? Why would you call me a liar? What's obstruction of justice? It's tampering with enough evidence. It's tampering with witness. It's exactly what he did. He called me a liar. Dave told Danny on April 15, 16, 23. He talked to him. Seen him at that church and talked to him. Hmm? Officers in uniform. There's about two or three of them up there. They've seen him, witnessed him. People were on my client's house in Akron. Because that retired judge sold a protective life case. So they all seen him. They went over to that church and everybody in that church said they seen an agent tell on me. So what did that agent do? He broke the law. Did I ever have to stay quiet? No. Dave told Danny, April 15, 16, 23, he had hired some guy named Pete on his own to take me unaware of my home and do all those things to me. And he was the only one up there doing everything. Drugging me, beating me, raping me. Under drugs, and he was human trafficking me out of that house. Do you know how much danger I was in? They were having me stopped, drugged, with amnesia drugs, beaten, raped in my own house. And they were selling videos of me and Dave in bed. Do you realize how much danger I was in? 
and they do tend to get me out of here. From a severe fault that mocked of the FBI and him personally. So, huh? Did I ever have to stay quiet? Not one day. So if he knew about the tapes before, he knew Dave knew, right? Who obstructed justice? That agent did. I tried to tell him about at Huntington Bank, where Dave called me on September 21st, 18. Dave called me where he had him buying himself for dinner. It already hired me down. I hired two men to kill me. Terry's phone call, I didn't hang up, but the church has taken up 25000 because Ron wants me dead, and it was Keith Bishop, Stranger Ron. But I skinned his girlfriend. Huh? Had Sarah and her old manager and co-worker, how it had been them trying to have me killed. The attempt to kidnapping, attempt to carjacking, followed and running. Hmm? Attempt to break in, they knew where the security system had been them, and I'm freaking out. And they had been keeping me drugged up all summer long. It wasn't even funny. I'd already lost 18 pounds. I lost another 70 in four and a half months. They kept me so drugged up up there. I couldn't even keep the saliva down. Well, they're bashing the back of my skull in and everything else. That's how not funny this is. I almost got killed several times. This is where... You know, I tell him I'm at that giant eagle. Dave calls me. Where are you at? I'm buying for something for dinner. I got a phone call to make. There's a good chance. He called the serial killer. Huh. I look up. They're giving flu shots. Flu shots. And I'm like, I better get one. I, I, it's not even safe for me to be up here. How stupid was I? It's been them trying to kill me the whole time. I get a flu shot. I walk along the ph uh, pharmacy, sat down on the bench. I got dizzy. Just breathe. You're safe. I'm trying to self-talk myself of, you're okay. Just breathe. Realizing all those attempts were them. I hear the voice. I can't believe she's here. It's the same one as I got her. She got away. I'm like, oh my God, he's here. That's 35 miles from where I last time I seen him. I get up, I turn up, I stand up, I turn my car, he comes up behind me, I stab you right here and now if it wasn't for that security guard. Pizza Hut lady's like, are you going to stab her and get away over with? He said, I won't make it out for that security guard. I turn my bank real, uh, turn my car right into the bank real quick. Um, I want to open an account, got in front of somebody. I figure if I ran for it, they just chased me down. I look over and she walks off around me. Comes up to the mailbank where I get paid to watch her. He's like, lady, stay out. She's like, no, I get paid to watch her. He's like, lady, I mean it. Stay out of it. I won't, uh, it won't be worth it then. She's like, no. He yells at her again and she walks off. And the other guy walks, the guy that tried to kidnap me, tried to carjack me, just threatened to knife me, walks off and around me with her. And Dave instantly calls me and I put him on hold. I told that agent that. Was there a camera above that bench? Do you think I looked for a camera? When somebody's tried to kidnap me and tried to carjack me, shoot me, and threaten to knife me, I got a wound open. I don't know. You don't know if there's a camera above that bench. I will uh, either say you're lying or I'll put you in jail. He can't tamper with a witness. He did. He tampered with evidence. He obstructed justice. Now, you either say you're lying or put you in jail. It's like, fine, whatever. David kept me drugged up from the time that I called the FBI for two or three days till I couldn't hardly get out of bed. I had to make myself get out of bed. And I had to sit on the front porch trying to get air in my face and stop being so dizzy. And I didn't even know what was wrong with me. See, this is where I didn't even know what was wrong with me doctor didn't know. You put that you're being drug beat and raped at all events. See, there's a point in time 
Nobody knew because they were breaking in my home and violating. And then he didn't take the rest of that judge, retired judge, doing this on his own. And he fell for a cheap stunt. He knew better. He knew better. See, that's where one of the officers walk around Akron, where I was doing home health care. He knew better. He would have known better. Okay? So this has got to the point. He would have known better. It's federal prison for him. He's retired, and they can still put his dumb butt in jail. See, there was a point in time that made me plead for my life. There's battering laws. There's battering laws. Then list to me informant for life. Even when you tell, 5000 a month, I've opened an account today. Threaten me if I told. What did I just tell that idiot? There was a person up at that church and Dave knew. So where Dave said he had hired, told our son Danny, he had hired some guy named Pete on his own. It was only him up there taping me unaware before and doing all those things to me. Huh? Pete has it set up, she can't get no money. Pete doesn't have anything admissible. But he actually lived in the United States of America. There's federal constitutional So, where would I stay quiet? Dave already knew. The church people knew. That retired judge, within the first 45 days, sold the login to the protected like case that agent opened. See, that's where they were mocking him June 7th, 2023. Is that why John did little with the case? That's funny. He fell for their stunt. You're kidding. How could you even present that and that agent not even arrest you? Do you know, everybody knows you have the right to remain quiet, right? Not incriminate yourself, right? You have a right to an attorney to represent you, right? You also have a right to privacy. The right of the people. To be safe and secure within your own person. Was I safe there? No. Your places, your homes, your personal effects and papers against all unreasonable searches or seizures shall not be violated. Your home can't be violated. So can retired Judge Pete stalk people in their home? No. Is it usable against that person? No. It's a federal constitutional law. No searches, no seizures without probable cause. Warranted with another affirmation of the places, the, the uh, people and the things to be searched or seized. Do they have a court order? No. They've hired some guy named Pete on his own. Was this done? They were drugging me. They were beating me, raping me, and they photoshopped me with amnesia drugs. And he didn't arrest them. And so they're saying, hmm? See, that agent where I have a friend that used to work for a prosecutor, that agent can't talk to you like that. He said in the police, no, they can't go along with that. He said he doesn't even have the authority to ask you to stay quiet. You know why? You have a freedom of speech. Hmm? Did I have to stay quiet? If he knew about the tapes before. Hmm? He knew about the tapes before. He knew that Dave already knew. 
he knew that guy went up to paper. He knew, hmm, churches knew. Because he knew Dave hired that guy named Pete on his own. Hmm? You have a freedom of speech. See, there's a point in time. That agent helped commit life in federal for herself. You can't victimize people. And they mocked him for being stupid and falling for a stunt. There's a point in time you can't even look at him. See, the, there was police walking around Akron. Don't say anything to her. Did you ever listen to Karen before? Yeah, I've listened to her. See where that retired Judge Pete's old plug-in, it's weird. People admit to seeing me in my home, and other ones only say they listen to me. It must be like an upgrade. It's horrible being violated. We're only placing agents to see me for the protective custody. They made this whole case a public disgrace. And where these kids are getting links to say stuff to me. It's the human traffickers getting a hold of them through online. Turn it into the FBI and the police. So, that's where a couple of guys walked by my apartment a couple nights ago. And they were talking to that weird Steve. Steve, would you ever say anything to her? He said, no. I found out the FBI had nothing to do with it. It was a drug cartel down here doing it to her. The ones that were human trafficking. That retired judge was involved with it, like the one in Florida. That in March of 22. 100 men went to jail. Human trafficking people. And 100 men. Now, we're going to put it this way. That agent had the biggest case in the world on his desk. He was too arrogant to look into it. You're going to say that he actually knew people were being stalked in their home? They're being drugged, raped, human trafficked, sex trafficked. So they was up this poor victim that's being beaten, raped by a severe cold and drugged up so bad she doesn't know what's happening to her. And he didn't help that victim. He allowed people be victimized on that high of a level. Huh? And like my friend said, my I have a friend I have a friend that has an eight hundred dollar laptop. He said he could Photoshop that shower seam real easy. Wouldn't be anything. That's where I have a friend that's a retired sheriff. You he said uh anything can be photoshopped anymore. They admitted to racing some guy named Chris out of the room and a bunch of other stuff. That's where that officer in Akron, we don't want anybody to say anything to her. We've all been getting phone calls. So there's no excuse for any of this. That um, uh, the guy said, do you think that agent fell for their tapes before? Well, he better not have known about them. Why? Because he would have had to arrest them. Her stalking me, drugging me, human trafficking me, sex trafficking videos of me and Dave, obtaining and dispensing kitty porn. Huh? Of oh, my grandkids using the bathroom. And he didn't arrest them? This is a my God. And he didn't arrest them. For assault with a deadly weapon, kidnapping. There's like a, a hundred years in federal prison with their confession is of what they did to me. They can't just break in people's homes. The Department of Justice looks at someone's home as their castle. It shall not be entered into. Do you realize how stupid it makes that agent look? He better, like the, that officer said, he better not have known about he better not have known. And he better not have looked at him. Because 
he knew better not to. See, it's coming down to he better not have. And if he did, he didn't even verify. Everything was photoshopped, and we did. See, those neighbors up in Akron, they were outside, and they yelled stuff at me. They were like, we even went over to that church. They all seen, everyone seen that agent tell on us. See what I mean? I never had to stay quiet one day, and he didn't have authority. Like my friend from the prosecutor's office, that agent don't even have the authority to ask you to stay quiet. Everything he said on that phone call was illegal. But, listing you informant with money and immunity, that's the only thing legal he did on that whole phone call. And the cops can't go along with any of that. But the informant part with money and immunity, that's it. So, where one of the officers, he's a young guy, he's got black hair, Dark eyes, black glasses, like 30. I've seen him again. I haven't seen him for a while. He was in Louisville Park a week ago, a little over a week ago, with his girlfriend. Um, and they were talking about the case. Well, she showed up at Trinity Gospel on Sunday and said, uh, some guy had said he taped her before and nobody was allowed to help her. And no matter what, it's not funny what those people did to her. You know who was telling people they weren't allowed to help me? Retired Judge P. Told everybody he was FBI agent Will. It took me a little bit to figure out who he was. Because they kept saying, Will taped her before. Will did this. Okay. Well, who was in my home? Who did Dave say that, tell Danny he hired some guy named Pete on his own. So who's Will? Retired Judge Pete. I had a client out in Mass when I was doing home health care. We'd go visit the neighbor. She's like, I worked home health care for one of the local mafia. She said, you'd be surprised what comes out of their mouths. She said, they would talk about running scams. And that they would have fake credentials for attorneys, uh, fake court orders. They would have uh, police uniforms um, and credentials for them. And they even got a couple other guys out of jail. Other officers fell for it. I said, they ever have fake FBI badges? She's like, yeah, they ran scam after scam. And they would get away with it and laugh. Hello. But I talked to the real hotline. And because that agent was rude to me, I didn't believe he was real. So I Googled off to see he was at and I found him. I found him. I found him. And I called that office again when I seen that guy. You should tell those police up there to get a hold of it. We're busy. See... That's where my friend from the prosecutor's office, I heard of this weird case. This officer was surveillancing some guy, Muslim man on his own. And he, the Muslim man found out, went to a judge. Judge pulled that officer in front of him. You knew better than being this man's home. He has a right to privacy. I could never look or listen. He can sue you for this. That officer can go to jail two to 20 years for stalking somebody. See, there's no court order. You cannot violate the sanctity of somebody's home, like the Department of Justice. It's uh, it cons uh, considers a man's home as his castle. It shall not be entered into. They had no right, like they said. That agent actually fell for that stunt. It was just a stunt. You're kidding. Of day rape drug confessions. So I'd be sleepwalking. Like they did that poor Eric and framed him. And had him confess on November 18, 22, 
Walmart 62, 2 to 6 p.m. by the hair salon. That everything was him. He had nothing to do with it. See, that's one of the things Danny said. Is that to Danny? Or Danny talking to, about it to Gabe. On April 15, 16, 23. He didn't know why that man got that. He had nothing to do with it. He had hired some guy named Pete on his own. I My life was in so much danger. And that agent didn't pull me out of there and hide me the first day. So they're going to say the feds know an occult is breaking in people's homes and stalking them. They're going to say they know an occult is hiring people to break in and date rape drop them. Beat, rape them, human traffic them, under drugs, and they're waking up, running to the bathroom, throwing up. What, and then when you get done throwing up, where on earth did I get that bruise? And then you're sick for a long time. Huh? And here you've been drugged. Then you get a personal infection. Hmm? Not leaving your home. You're like, what on earth? See, for the doctor for. Here you're being drugged, beat, and raped, and human trafficked in your own home. And he's not helping victims. So was there me staying quiet? Some idiot woman showed up. She knew better at saying anything about what was going on. Honey? I told that agent they already told. Um, he called me a liar. With Dave's confession, he already knew he had some guy stalking me in my home. You're the doofus. And they made that federal agent look extremely stupid and mocked him by name and that he was an FBI agent and he fell for that occult stunt. And the officers that watched me for the protected custody case, oh, they're laughing. This is why he didn't do much with that case. Because how could you present it to him when he didn't arrest them? And like my friend that's a sheriff, anything could be photoshopped. And another sheriff I talked to, those date rape drugs, those amnesia drugs, you're sleepwalking so much under somebody else's control. They could have drugged up the people that took down the towers and told them to kill everyone, and they didn't even know they did it. That's how much they control people. My co-worker, Dar, got taken from a bar, took one drink. They said her friend says she started taking, acting happy. People, a group of people walked up. Told her, let's go. She woke up in a puddle of pee. Didn't even know she left with him. Found out two months later she was pregnant. They had raped her. Hmm? Was thrown up and dizzy. Sound familiar? My uh, neighbor, Mike, got roofied in a bar. Didn't know he went to a bank, went out to eat, how he changed his shoes, and how he got home. He'd been out sleep driving all night. That's how not funny it is. You're wide awake with under. You ever watch Law and Order Special Victims Group? It happens all the time. And a federal agent would know that. So where they made fun of the FBI, that it was just a stunt, and they couldn't believe he would actually fall for just their stunt, What on earth? It was just a stunt. Ha ha ha. He actually fell for it. That FBI agent fell for it. John fell for it. Is that what's going on? So he did little with the case. So they got away with it. So he knew there he knew. Hmm. You want to say he was an accessory to all those crimes? People died because of him. The human traffickers, they were that retired judge was messed up with them. Human traffic people out of here. We all have the same story of the same people. And I lived through a concentration camp sat up from the drug cartel and medical. I've been raped, I've been tortured, I've been human trafficked, I've been bashed in the back of the head, 
drugged up so bad I lost 70 pounds. Where people make fun of me. I have lived through how almost shot in the head driving had to hide on a shooting night. I've almost been murdered several times. And pe people make fun of me. For being a victim of Nicole in a dark cartel. And I was supposed to be in protective custody. So the officers that watched me. The ones that had fake FBI badges. It was a drug cartel. It was retired Judge Pete saying he was an FBI agent. His son, Alex, the one on 12 21 18 in protected custody, bashed my skull in. Beat, raped me, left, raped me for dead. I would still have a dent in my head. I'm lucky to be alive. Now, you need to turn them in. And turn them in everything you have on them. That agent just left me on his desk. And they made fun of them by name and how they fooled them. And it's not your fault. They impersonated federal officers and you are listening to them. But you need to turn them in now because they defrauded everybody and ran a scam here. It's just a stunt for them to get away with this. And Katie's family member I uh, caught some guy when I walked out on the 7th had uh, yelled out her name and everything in the entrance of Walmart that she paid for the harassment that day. And he caught her.